interest rates, right? Uh, actually, not all REITs are bad. Nah. You know, because you talk about rising interest rate, why you're afraid uh, having a too big an exposure to REITs is because the cost of doing business for them will go up. The finance expense will go up. So if the finance expense goes up and their revenue doesn't go up to compensate for them, then of course the distribution per unit, the DPU would drop. Then of course your yield will drop. You know, um, so but if the REIT you're invested in is able to increase revenue uh, to keep pace with the increase in interest rate to compensate or in fact do better than the increase in interest rate, mm -hmm. there's no reason to be fearful of that REIT. Mm -hmm. So uh, in general, yes, you know, rising interest rate will impact the profitability of REITs and the DPU, but uh, you don't have to avoid them totally. You know, um, then if you talk about non REITs, you know, if you follow my blog, I have uh, I share about my uh, income from REITs and income from non REITs. You can tell from my last report for the full year 2016 that my income from non REITs have gone up a lot uh, because I've been going there, uh, putting more money in non REITs. Um, so, one of my favorite is actually DBS, mm -hmm. and I talk about this probably the entire. 2016, I was talking about DBS because it was so undervalued. And uh, even today, I, I think DBS uh, is not as undervalued for a fair value. I'm mm -hmm. waiting for the price to pull back before I buy some. Mm -hmm. Again, um, I didn't sell all. I, as the price went up, I, I sold uh, some of my investment in DBS. Um, but basically, how you want to pick, uh, you pick market leaders la, you know, and companies which will not be affected badly by rising interest rates. So, and in fact, DBS will probably benefit from rising interest rate because uh, the interest net interest, uh, the interest margin for them will improve. So their interest income will improve. And uh, DBS probably is the best proxy uh, for that. Lah. Then if you look at DBS, they pay out about one third of their earnings as dividend. So you, you still get dividend income and the balance that they don't pay out, they just retain earnings. So you look at DBS NAV, right? It's very amazing. Every year, the value goes up by more than a dollar. So even if you just hold the stock, right? Every year is getting more valuable.